mission of the Marijuana Policy Project is to primarily lobby on the federal level to minimize the harm associated with marijuana. This is the government's health care plan for these patients. Your group does want to legalize marijuana, period, correct? Well, we believe that sick people as well as healthy people should not be arrested and sent to prison for using marijuana. The decision should be made between a doctor and a patient not federal bureaucrats and especially not the criminal justice system. We want to win this war and end marijuana prohibition. And one of the ways that we're going to win this war is to emasculate the drug czar so that he can't spend taxpayer money <laughs> opposing us. We just want the, the government's failed system of prohibition to be replaced mm -hmm. with a system of taxation and regulation. Do you give your toddlers whippets? It's in limiting pain. Prop 1 gives doctors and patients another option in managing serious and painful illness. Vote yes on Proposal 1. Take it from a cop who walked the beat. Please vote yes on question two. We'd like to control marijuana, regulate it, keep it out of kids' hands. Legalize, but regulate, you say. A marijuana prohibition is a massive failure, and this is a great step in the right direction. Tens of millions of Americans have been using marijuana for decades now, and the government has been trying to prove how harmful this is, and they just haven't. What this law is about is protecting seriously and terminally ill patients who are using marijuana with their doctor's recommendation from arrest and prosecution. But we're talking about marijuana, which is not tobacco and alcohol, and in fact is by far, by every possible objective measure, safer than tobacco or alcohol. What we're confronting here is reality, that people have finally realized that marijuana isn't the dangerous drug that the government has made it out to be for so long. They realize that marijuana is a substance that's really less harmful than alcohol. Why it's an act has more. I needed help. So I brought in Rob Campia. You guys don't have what it takes to be president. You, though, seem like you know what you're talking about. You know, my problem is that I was arrested and put in jail for three months for growing some marijuana. Hold on for one second. This guy got busted. He now can't be president. A rebellious streak in a potential president is a very healthy thing. Well, it sucks and for this guy. He got caught. Obama didn't. The controversial marijuana ballot question, Amendment 64. Floyd, uh, we can safely say this is going to pass. Uh, yes, it is. The butter's is broken. It's nice when you work on something and you dedicate your life to something that you know is right, and you're the underdog, and then you actually win. <laughs> It feels good to know that there's 10,000 people in Colorado that are not going to be arrested and made criminals next year just for using marijuana. Right. Well, it's been disproven. The World Health Organization has said the gateway just simply doesn't exist. If there is a gateway, it's prohibition in and of itself. It's prohibition that forces in marijuana consumers to go to the criminal market to obtain marijuana. If the folks at Big Tobacco would like to ditch cigarettes and start <laughs> selling a product that doesn't kill anyone, I think that that would be a net positive. I think everyone here in Washington, D.C. knows that marijuana prohibition's days are numbered. The, the policy memo that we saw from the Department of Justice last week was a clear white flag in the federal government's 40-year war on marijuana. If a new beer came out that had no calories and didn't cause hangovers and didn't result in people getting rowdy and uh, potentially violent, it would be welcome. Well, we're betting that voters in Portland, just like voters in Colorado and Washington and elsewhere across this country, are tired of the public policy disaster that is marijuana prohibition. Now, more than ever, it's time for the state of Maine to follow Portland and treat marijuana like alcohol, tax and regulate marijuana. If a pharmacist or a physician were to prescribe or to dispense marijuana, they could lose that registration with the federal government and would no longer be able to prescribe any controlled substances. What we're saying is let's just wipe the slate clean, let law enforcement focus on serious crime where people get hurt uh, and uh, not, not waste resources on something that uh, the most Americans now want taxed and regulated. I don't think people should have arrest records that can cripple their ability to get jobs or um, education just for a small amount of marijuana. You just I don't completely... like people who use marijuana and you want no, to see them that's punished. Not it. But the fact no, is actually... that they're normal people just like you. They enjoy using marijuana for the same reasons people like having a drink after work and they shouldn't be made criminals for it.
marijuana prohibition is not working. Not only is it not working, it's also extraordinarily destructive. It's wasting billions of dollars that could be used to solving real serious crimes that are going unsolved. It's also depriving the state of billions of dollars of revenue. More and more we're seeing elected officials take this issue on and we hope to see state legislatures around the country adopting laws similar to Colorado's within the next few years. We feel like it's time to stop arresting Alaskans for, for simply choosing a substance that's objectively safer than alcohol. Civil penalties bill is what we're trying to introduce, which eliminates the jail time associated with small amounts of possession and also no criminal record. We're definitely moving in the right direction. As you said, more and more states are starting to reconsider marijuana prohibition. More than half of American voters think that marijuana should be uh, treated similarly to alcohol. And Congress has finally decided to start rolling back the war on medical marijuana. So things are definitely looking good. So Vermont is, is well poised to be the first state or one of the first states to actually do this legislatively. There's no reason why legislators should hold off any longer. All of these efforts start as losing efforts, and then they eventually win. The Marijuana Policy Project. The Marijuana Policy Project. The Marijuana Policy Project. Marijuana Policy Project. The Marijuana Policy Project. Marijuana Policy Project. Well, I just look back to the days when I was in college and some of my friends may or may not have been smoking marijuana, and you thought that it would never be mainstream, it would never be accepted uh, in society, it would never be, uh, you know, not against the law, but look at where we've got. The ship has sailed in terms of marijuana legalization, you know, like it or not, I think history will point to this particular period in history as the time it shifted.